Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new update for Adobe XD. This is the June 2020 update video. We have several solid features this month, so let's go ahead and dive right into the new features. So the first new feature we have this month is called Stacks, and this is going to allow us to stack elements in groups for better organization and keeping a better defined space in between those elements. So here I have these three groups, these three social media posts in this timeline. I'm gonna select all of them and group them together with Command G for the shortcut on Mac. And now that I have that, I can check this over here called Stack, and you can see that it also defines the padding we have. I don't have any, but if I did, it would define that. And you can do a vertical or a horizontal stack. And so with this, this allows me to quickly just adjust my content by clicking and dragging the order of these elements around. And while I'm inside of this group, I can also adjust the spacing between individual elements, or I can hold the shift and scale them to the same size spacing. So let's say I want to go with 33. I'll have 33 in between each of these cards. And again, I can quickly reorganize my content. So this is a pretty cool feature for this month. I think this is gonna be super powerful. I'm gonna play around with this a bit more and I might make a more detailed tutorial here on this in the future. The second new feature is scroll groups, and this is another really requested bigger update to the program. Uh, so this is going to allow us to add groups that are able to scroll outside of the normal scrolling of the entire artboard. So we can do this vertically and horizontally. So here on this photo, I have this comment section and I have all of the content that I want to include there. So I'm just going to click and drag to make sure I have all that selected. And then here you'll see these three new icons. So this one's for vertical scroll. There's also horizontal and you can do both. For now, I just want to select a vertical scroll. So I can adjust where I want the top of the slider and the bottom. So I'm just gonna put it right there for now and I'll drag this over into my design where it was and adjust this to something like that. So now when I select this artboard and hit live preview, I can scroll through all the different comments on this one particular post. And so you can do this with horizontal and vertical scrolls. So I could have an image slider here, if I could slide through different images. And so that is scroll groups, a really cool feature. I'm so glad they finally added something where we can scroll on different elements like this. Uh, so I'm gonna be making more tutorials, like I said, with the last one, and this will probably be something you'll see in a future tutorial as well. So let's move on to the next feature. Following up those two awesome features, we have design tokens. And this one's great for those of you who are sharing your designs with developers often. So with the shared for development, there is now tokens that get passed on to the developers. So here in this design, I have various different colors and text sizes that I've saved in my assets panel. And if I want to name any of these, instead of just dealing with hex codes like 0000, I can just call this primary dash black or something like main blue. And I could name all of these, even the text. And so when I go to share this, I just select share for development and exporting for the web and create link. So here in my shared design for development, I can go and select variables and you can see I have my main blue as well as my primary black and somewhere in this mess of fonts, there will be a named one, which I have no idea where it went right here. And you can also see this, here, when you select these different colors, you'll see below them, there is the name main blue and primary black. And so you can easily just copy these and use these code snippets for your development. So those are design tokens, another great feature of this month's update. And to wrap up this video, the last two features we have are durable shared links. So now you can change a link from shared to private back and forth without creating a new link. And we also have support for two more languages. This is Italian and Russian. So as far as updates go for Adobe XD, I'd give this one a 10 out of 10 because of those two awesome features, scroll groups and stacks, along with these other nice features. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. I'm gonna put this link down in the description if you guys wanna check out the featured list from Adobe themselves, or if you wanna check out their blog post telling you a little bit more about the update. So that's pretty much it for this month. 
Shout out to Adobe for an awesome update, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video covering that. If you did, make sure you get a thumbs up, subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.